what I have found for your market, Hawk Green. Ah. This must surely be the hand of Providence, Surat. The flower to complete my collection. Run. Go call Adana. You haven't any right to keep me here. I don't. Are you sure? I'm not your slave. You are a slave. But you will remain here only for tonight. Tomorrow you will bring a price that only a king can afford to pay. Adana, you will take care of this young creature. Have her rest up and then prepare her with our most beautiful jewels and most audacious veils. Uh, Murad, where did you find her? She was near the lake with a giant who took five of my best men from me. You'll have to sell her for a high price to cover my expenses. Mm. Abdul, you're the most convincing thief the Orient has ever known. Sure I am. So I needn't tell you that the girl will be sold for last. Mm -hmm. And for the highest price. You can be sure of that, my lord. I will see to it that you are well paid. And now let us drink to our good fortune. Mm? <laughs> Tomorrow's market shall be a rich market. Eh, hey, Abdul? It's the slave market. I say in all honesty, have you ever seen a more beautiful, more stupendous, more angelic creature? Lips like ruby wine, and then her eyes, green as emeralds, O oh noble sirs. Nowhere in the Orient a more noble and regal comportment. And then I ask you to just imagine all of her hidden charms. And what is more, my lord, for just a few miserable piastres, she can be yours. All yours, the incredible sum of 60 miserable piastres. 65. 75, Castra. 100, Castra. 10 more piastres. Oh, but are you going to sit there and let that Bedouin take this stupendous jewel away from you? Come now, Ibrahim. This is no time to show your miserliness. Just look at this delightful desert flower. How can you refuse her? Courage, Ibrahim, or she will slip through your fingers. Be generous for once and 